Hey guys, this is Lisa, aka Kid of the King, and I am back with the vengeance and the fire in my spirit to serve the Lord and finish my assignment before we go home. It has been an awful year for me. I don't know about you, but the enemy has tried everything he can possibly think of to take me out and take out my destiny, and that's what he does to God's people, is tries to destroy our destiny. And, um, because he wants us to lose faith and lose heart and not believe anymore. And uh, so anyway, after the year that I've had and the last week that I've had, it just put a whole new fire in my spirit. And I believe God had to allow this last incident to happen for, for me to wake up out of my complacency because it's not that I was complacent. It's just that... I was just very depressed from everything that has been happening and he had to allow something to really jolt me awake and uh, and, and it worked. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a good year, but if you belong to the Lord, you are getting attacked. There is just no doubt about it. That's just a fact. I mean new level new devil so and i'm not glorifying in the kingdom of darkness by any any certain means here i'm just saying the truth um seems like the harder i try to serve god the more the enemy comes at me with full vengeance and it, yeah he has tried everything to take me out so anyway with that i am so excited i wanted to tell you guys i'll probably be a part two and three i'm not sure that we are so, so, so close to the rapture right now. I mean, it is, can you feel it? Can you feel it? It is about to happen, you guys. And I believe it's this year with all my very little girl heart. It is this year. I don't know exactly the date, right? Of course I don't, you know, in the hour, but I know we are in the season, praise the Lord, and it's about to go down. So I hope you're ready. I'm trying myself to be ready. You know, we need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. We need to be repentant every day and, and self-examine ourselves to make sure our hearts are right with the Lord and not be afraid to be bold soldiers for Christ. Please don't be afraid right now to complete your assignment too and bring in the final harvest that's definitely my assignment um god told me last year because i was just so depressed you know and and i said it i said god i don't even want to live anymore and he said no you have to complete your assignment and i'm like what's that and he said to, to bring in to help bring in the final harvest and i'm like okay lord so the enemy knows that I'm going to complete my assignment no matter what he throws at me. And he's throwing the kitchen sink and everything in it. <sighs> and he's tried to make me lose heart, you guys, to make me just completely give up and not even want to try anymore. But, man, praise God that he's given me just a new fire in my heart. I just thank him so much for that. <sighs> anyway, <clears throat> I got some very, very important news. Number one. I listened to Pastor Paul Bagley last night, and oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. I had known for a long time that AI would be used for the Beast Kingdom. And I knew that they would use AI to be the second beast made in, made in the first beast's image. And that's the only way you could do it is make an AI, you guys. <clears throat> How else could they do it? I mean, computers have taken over everything. They can track us with AI technology. I mean, did you know that the biggest computer in the world, the biggest quantum computer, is nicknamed the Beast? Did you know that? Well, now you do. So anyway, I just found out that 21 huge giants that look like a man but they're actually holograms are going to be placed in 21 major cities 
I'm not sure if they're going to be only in the U.S. or they're going to be around the world yet, but they're going to be placed in 21 cities this year. And guess what they can do? They can talk. They can sing. They can move. They can communicate with others. I mean, oh my gosh. And, and I am really truly wondering, tell me what you think, that this thing may be the one that people will worship, you know, have to worship because it's made in the image of the beast, which will look like a human, of course. But yeah, go to his channel because it gives the whole like um, preview of what they're showing about it and what it can do. And it's just completely amazing how Bible prophecy is just unfolding right now before our very eyes. And, you know, this is in the book of Revelation. Um, so anyway, we are definitely, in my humble opinion, in the Great Tribulation right now. Um, it's just obvious. I don't know about to you, but you really got to do your research and know what's happening around the world. And uh, to know these things and have discernment. And also just you got to read the book of Revelation. <laughs> but anyway... Yes, this thing is going up this year. So that tells me how close we are to the actual rapture. I mean, I am just blown away. Uh, people say, oh, the Bible was just written by man. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at all the prophecies that have happened already and are happening. <sighs> so anyway, that's really big news. Paul Bagley. Oh, yeah, today is... June 10th, so that video went out yesterday, June 9th, Pastor Paul, and the title was um, AI Giants Coming or something like that. So anyway, uh, and also, you know, the uh, snake bite will change your DNA. There's no doubt about it. Um, it will change the structure of your blood cells. It will cause brain tissue damage. And mm, when they bring out the third uh, thing, which will be the smart patch, you really need to Google what the smart patch is and what it can do. It will definitely be able to monitor all your human bodily functions. Um, They'll be able to keep tabs on you. They'll be able to control you with 5G technology and possibly the Large Hadron Collider, which is a large magnet. Magnet. So when they say when they want you to bow, you will be bowing whether you like it or not. It can be forced on you because they will be able to control you because you will be transhuman. Make no mistake. So if you're connected into the grid of things, uh, yes, they can control your, your very bodily movements and force you to do things. And yes, you can hear, you can hear uh, radio frequencies from the satellites that they have placed up there. It will be able to speak to you definitely in your mind. Um, this, this is a technology that's already been proven, that's already out there. I've known about this for at least a year. Um, and it's very scary. People have no freaking clue where we are right now and what is happening. Um, also, I want to warn you about a Z-O-M-B-I-E apocalypse. Yes, it is coming. It is coming. So, I hope that you have food and supplies and water and definitely the protection of Jesus Christ. Because if you don't, if you're not saved and you're not under his protection, you're definitely going to be in trouble. Because um, once these things, the, 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 the stuff that's in the, the snake bite starts attacking, putting holes in people's brains... They're going to go absolutely bonkers. I've already seen some video of it already. I've seen the videos of magnets sticking to people's bodies. Are you awake yet? 
are you awake yet? Um, look up the website from the CDC preparedness for the zombie apocalypse. You can't make this stuff up. They have actually have a website. And why do you think they've had all these zombie movies? Huh? Because they're pre-programming you to this. I mean, I can't even count how many zombie movies there's been through the years. Um... Also, even, like I said, I think in one of my previous videos, Notre Dame spoke about his prophecy for 2021 that there would be a zombie apocalypse. Also, many great prophets have been shown this, and I believe them. And you know, when I was a kid, when I was in my, oh, my 20s, I had all these dreams of these thousands of people, hundreds of people chasing me. And I'd be running, and, and, and I'd have guns, and I'd be shooting back at them, and I'd be running and hiding from them. And this went on for a couple of years. I would have these horrid nightmares of people chasing me. And, you know, I had no idea back then that God was showing me the future because he gave me many prophetic dreams in my 20s, and I was just, you know, I was a believer, but I, <laughs> I didn't even know anything about Bible prophecy back then. So, yes. And many, many of God's people have had dreams about zombies chasing them. I'm not the only one. There are hundreds of people out there. So anyway, um, I also wanted to say this is probably one of the most important parts of the video. That when this happens, you better be ready with, and this is not my words. I give all credit and all praise to God Almighty and His prophet that He used. Um... Um, Sister Sherry Elijah, or Elijah Sherry, yeah, Sister Elijah Sherry, um, her channel's name is Yaz Lady in Red, all like, the words are all together, and just go to Y-A-H-S-L-A-D-Y-I-N-R-E-D, -Y -E Yaz Lady in Red, like Yahweh. And you can scroll through her channel and you'll see the ones about the zombies. It has a picture of Michael Jackson on it, you know, from the from the thriller video. But anyway, this is this prophecy came out like in 1998 about the zombies that um, and she was told by the Lord that the only way to defeat them is to have either like a wooden bat or a couple wooden sticks with anointing oil on them, and you'll be able to fight them off and also it'll be represent the wooden cross and they'll be afraid of it and you'll have to say like the blood of Jesus is against you the cross is against you and they'll back off or if you attack them with it I guess maybe they'll go down I mean you have to listen to the video yourself um, <clears throat> but I don't know that she also said that gun guns won't stop them so that's out of the question now so I think you better listen to it. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's definitely going down. Um, I already have my wooden sticks. I've already got them anointed, too. Anyway, it's funny because I had forgotten about that video. I listened to it a few years ago, and I completely forgot about it. And then everything that's happened this past year, and she came up on my feet again. I'm like, praise the Lord. I completely forgot, Lord, that you told me about this already. I mean, you, you know, I know this sounds really far-fetched, but really it's not. I mean, they're going to be doing the UFO disclosure now. Think about that. The governments are going to be disclosing the UFOs. Now, I told my little brother, Jacob, a few years ago, that they would be eventually disclosing the UFOs and they would be coming here. I believe they're fallen angels. That they would come here and that that's how they would explain the rapture away. He looked at me like I had just come out of the loony pit. <laughs> his face, his countenance went to smiling and happy to looking at me like I am going to take you to the hospital. But you see, Jacob, it's happening now. So... You don't need to think that about me anymore, brother. Little brother. Uh, you'll see. See, you know, my family thinks I'm crazy, but that's okay. 
you know, they'll be humbled soon enough. And I hope that they repent and get right with the Lord, you know, because they can still be saved in the Great Tribulation. They can still be saved. So, but after that's over and all the vials and everything starts pouring out and the wrath, well, it may be too late by then, y'all. Um, I don't know. I just don't know if, if there's any chance at that point. After um, that point, yeah. So, maybe, maybe there is a chance because... Oh, maybe not. Because the martyrs happen in the fifth seal. So maybe not. There might not be a chance at that point anymore. Because pretty much the Great Tribulation is, I just found out from Pastor Sandy, praise the Lord. The Great Tribulation is from the beginning of Revelation to through the sixth seal. And that's when the wrath of the Lamb starts. And that's it. Game over. So, um, we don't have much time left, you guys, because I believe it's already started, and the Great Famine, which is the third seal, will start this September. So that means, you know, the first seal has definitely already happened. They, the B system is going out to conquer, and it is conquering people, They're taking the snake bite and everything else, and um, people are dying, and... They're controlling us, major control going on, tyrannical moves on the governments, you know, with the citizens. I mean, pastors are getting arrested in Canada, having to pay fines of $100,000. You know, Christians are getting arrested even in the U.S. It's bad. Uh, I mean, pastors are, you know, um, people preaching. Um... That's all I think I'm going to say for this video. I'm going to go back and check what I said. Because I don't like want to keep rambling. I'm outside. I didn't write anything down. But I love you and I'm probably going to do a part two. Bye.